A group of Jesuits who were teaching in Hiroshima witnessed and survived the explosion. One of them has provided an eyewitness account. Father, would you introduce yourself, please? I am Father John Zenas, professor of philosophy at the Catholic University of Tokyo, which is under management of Jesuit Fathers. Could you describe exactly what happened in the morning of August the 6th? I was in my room, which uh, faces the valley, and suddenly I saw a light, like magnesium light, flashlight, which uh, filled the whole valley, and looking out of my window to find out the reason for this peculiar phenomena, I saw nothing besides this light, and turning uh, from the window to the door of my room, I heard a crash, it may, be, may have been 10 seconds uh, after seeing the light, the flashlight. And immediately I was covered with splinters of the window frames and glass sticking uh, into the walls and actually my flesh itself. After a while we saw a procession of people coming from the outskirts of the city up the valley. Uh, many of them, most of them, were wounded, uh, especially which were not covered by uh, clothes, like hands, feet, uh, back. Uh, they came up to our house and we did what we could, but uh, there were no possibility to give uh, much of aid. How many people do you think were killed? All of us who lived uh, to this exper experience at the spot estimate the numbers of deaths at least as 100,000. Uh, this estimate is not based on official figures but just on a knowledge of special groups in the, uh, under the population. Was there anybody to take charge of the city after the disaster? There was nobody to take charge after the disaster because all important people were practically killed. The major, the commander of the city, many high-ranking officers, a Korean prince uh, which was stationed at the time in Oshima. Tell me a little about the uh, Japanese reaction towards the Americans and towards the atomic bomb. Neither myself nor anybody of our, of our fathers uh, heard a single outburst of hate against the Americans in those terrible days. Uh, Father, what is your and your colleague's opinion uh, as to the use of the atomic bomb? We have discussed among ourselves the ethics of the use of the bomb. Some considered in the same category as poison gas and were against its use on the civilian population. Others were of the view that in total war, as carried on in Japan, there was no difference between civilians and soldiers, and that the bomb itself was an effective force tending to end the bloodshed, warning Japan to surrender and thus to avoid total destruction. It seems log logical to me that he who supports total war in principle cannot complain of a war against civilians. The crux of the matter is whether total war in its present form is justifiable even when it serves a just, a just purpose. Does it not have material and spiritual evil and its consequences which far exceed whatever the good that might result? When will our moralists give us a clear answer to this question? Five, four, three, two, one. In the 
dead silence of the morning at 5.29.45 Mountain War Time, the Jornada del Muerto was bathed in an intense flash of a light that man had only seen from the stars. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. 